Lesson one: Beautiful Hawaii. I went to Hawaii on vacation. Did you like it? I loved it. I want to live there. What did you like? The island is so green and the water is so blue. Did you go swimming? I went to the beach every day. How was the weather? It was hot and sunny every day. What did you do at night? At night, I went out to eat. The food was delicious. People who live in Hawaii are lucky. Lesson two: Serving your country. That was a great trip to Washington D.C. Tell me about it, Dad. About ninety of us World War II veterans got on the plane at eight a.m. How long was the flight? It only took about two hours. Did you take pictures at the World War II monument? Oh yes, we all took lots of pictures. Then you flew back home that evening. Yes, when we landed, TV reporters in the army band were there. That must have made you feel really special. Oh, it did. There were about three hundred people there to honor us. Well, you all deserve it. You helped save our country. Lesson three: The airport. What time does your plane leave? It leaves at twelve fifteen. When do you have to be at the airport? I have to be there two hours early. So we have to be at the airport at ten fifteen. That means we have to leave the house at nine fifteen. Well, it's an hour to get there. If there are, are no traffic problems, so maybe we better leave at eight fifteen. Yes, it's better to get there too early than too late. I agree. You never know what might happen on these freeways. There's at least one huge accident every day. Lesson four: The Grand Canyon. Spring break starts tomorrow. Are you going to go anywhere? I was thinking of driving to Arizona. To the Grand Canyon? Yes, I've never been there. I was there when I was a kid. How did you like it? I loved it. I still remember how amazing it was. I'm sure I'll like it too. You should try riding a mule on a trail to the bottom. No way! I don't want to fall to my death. Don't worry. Only one person has ever fallen off a mule. Lesson five: A cruise. I want to go on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. Where do you want to go? I want to cruise to Hawaii. That should be a nice trip. Lots of fun and lots of food. I have no idea how much it will cost. I think it depends on the season and your cabin. Well, of course, I want to go when the weather is nice. Yes, you don't want to travel in winter storms. And I want to get a big cabin with a view. Are you going to travel alone? No, my sister and I will travel together. Well, you should go online and try to find a good deal. Lesson six: A long day. I have to hang up. I'm so sleepy. It's not even ten o'clock. I'm falling asleep on the phone. You got up real early. I had to take my friend to the airport. Why didn't you take a nap when you got home? I didn't get home until thirty minutes ago. Why is that? There was a bomb threat at the airport. Only a threat? Yes, but I was stuck there all day while they looked for the bomb. Some day the bomb is going to be for real. Lesson seven: Fear of flying. I hate flying. So do I. A long time ago, flying used to be okay. Now it's like riding a bus. You're jammed in with people all around you. Half of them are 
coughing and the other half are sneezing. You don't have any elbow room or knee room. People are always getting up to use the bathroom. Kids are crying or climbing over you. It's a flying zoo. I wish I could afford first class seats. Doesn't everybody? Lesson eight: A real meal. I like this hotel. What do you like about it? We get a free breakfast. Coffee and a roll? No, a real breakfast. Bacon and eggs. With toast, ham, sausage, fresh fruit, and juice. Wow, that is nice. Let's stay for two nights. And the rooms are clean too. Do they allow pets? No pets, no smoking. I like that. Let's stay three nights. Lesson nine: Row your boat. Some guys rode across the Atlantic Ocean. Good for him. Why would he do that? Did he set a new record? Yes, I think he did. Well, I guess that's why he did it. What's the point? Now he has the world record. But someone's going to break it. So what good is it? Well, he can enjoy it while it lasts. I don't think he even got paid for it. Some people do it just to do it. Lesson ten: A free trip. My dad went to Washington D.C. Why did he do that? He was invited along with about ninety other veterans. Who invited them? Some private organization. Why did they invite him? To thank him and all the other soldiers who served in World War II. That's very nice. My dad got to see the beautiful new World War II monument. That trip must have cost a lot of money. He said all the money came from private donations. Lesson eleven: New sheets. I'm not sleeping here tonight. What's the matter? This is a nice room. Maybe the room is nice, but not the bed. What's wrong with the bed? Look at this sheet. Yes. See those stains? I sure do. I'm not sleeping on that sheet. We'll just call the front desk. They'll give us new sheets. I want sheets without stains on them. From now on, let's bring our own sheets. Lesson twelve: Prepare for takeoff. I hate to fly. Because of all the security. No, because it hurts my ears. What do you mean? Every time we land or take off, my ears hurt so much. That's just the altitude change, I think. Whatever it is, it hurts. Can't you take medicine or something for that? I've tried everything, but nothing works. Have you tried earplugs? They don't work either. Well, be glad you're not a pilot. Lesson thirteen: A Christmas flight. I need to fly to New York. When are you going? During the Christmas holidays. You'd better buy your ticket now. You must be kidding. No, I'm not. It's March. Time is running out. Seats are selling out right now. I thought I would wait until October. I'll bet this is the first time you've ever flown during Christmas. You're right. Well, listen to me. You need to buy a ticket now. But maybe prices will be cheaper in October. Cheaper prices won't do you any good if there are no seats. Lesson fourteen: Hotel hell. That hotel was terrible. 
The worst in the whole world. The walls were so thin. All day long we heard TVs or telephones. All night long we heard people snoring. Housekeeping didn't give us fresh towels. Room service brought us a cold dinner. Our non-smoking room stunk of cigarette smoke. Our room was right next to the elevator and the ice machine. They added phony charges to our bill. How do we end up in that terrible hotel? The travel agent gave us a 50% discount. Lesson 1, a good salad. I love salad. Me too. I usually eat a simple salad. What do you put in it? Just lettuce, tomato, and celery. That's it? I add some pepper and salt. I always put cheese in my salads. Yes, cheese is nice. What kind of dressing do you use? I pour lots of French dressing on top. Me too. French dressing is so delicious. Who cares about calories? Lesson two. No more for me. I'm stuffed. Of course you are. You ate everything on the table. I don't like to eat leftovers. I'm glad to hear there's something you don't like to eat. I like my food hot and fresh. You like to see it disappear. I don't like it reheated. Well, you'll have hot, fresh food tomorrow night. I'm so full, I'm going to burst. You should loosen your belt. I already loosened my belt and unbuttoned my pants. Well, don't stand up, please. Lesson 3, Bad Manners My girlfriend's mom got mad at me at the dinner table. Why was that? I sprinkled salt and pepper on the food before I tasted it. What's the matter with that? Her mom is a great cook. So? A little salt and pepper never hurt anything. It hurt her feelings. Oh? I apologized to her, but I could tell she was still upset. Maybe you shouldn't eat there again. I'm sure everything will be okay in a day or two. It's your girlfriend's fault. She should have warned you. Lesson 4. A Pink Orange there's something wrong with my orange. What's wrong? It's not orange. <laughs> Your orange isn't orange. No, it's dark pink. Are you sure? I never heard of such a thing. I just peeled it, and I'm looking at it right now. Let me see. Yes, you're right. Your orange is pink. Who ever heard of such a thing? Oh, look. Here's the little sticker that was on it. It's called a pink navel. What is this world coming to? Who knows? Maybe soon we'll have pink bananas. Lesson 5. I used to work in a deli. I used to work in a deli. How did you like it? I loved it. Did you get free food? I ate free cheese and meat every day. That sounds like a great job. Whatever a customer ordered, I sliced off a little more for me. Did you get fat? No, but I did put on a few pounds. That sounds like a dream job. It was, until one day my manager caught me. <laughs> no more free cheese for you, huh? Lesson 6. Don't be lazy. I saw what you did. I didn't do anything. Oh, yes, you did. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. I don't have any idea. You know what you did. Maybe I know, but how could you know? Because I was watching you. 
Okay. I'm sorry I did it. Don't drink milk out of the carton. Use a glass. I promise I'll never drink out of the carton again. Lesson 7, Roasted or Boiled I love peanuts. Me too. I love them roasted and salted. I love boiled peanuts. Boiled? I never heard of that. Just boil raw peanuts in salt water until the shells are soft. I'll have to try them sometime. They're best when they're hot. My brother is allergic to peanuts. That's not good. No, it isn't. He almost died when he was little. He has to, he has to be very careful about what he eats. He has a very strict diet. Lesson 8. We get cheese from cows. I love cheese. Me too. Where does cheese come from? It comes from cows. So we get cheese from cows and we get milk too? Yes, we do. What else do we get from cows? We get hamburgers and steak. Oh, that's so delicious. We also get leather. We get a lot of things from cows, don't we? Yes, a cow is man's best friend. Lesson 9, same old diet. I eat the same thing every day. You're kidding. No, I'm serious. Doesn't that get old? No, because I'm eating food that I like. But the same thing day after day gets old. Well, I guess if it ever does get old, I'll change to something different. Do you eat fruits and vegetables every day? No, I hate vegetables. But you eat fruits. I eat two apples, one banana, and one orange every day. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Lesson 10, a pound a week. I'm gaining weight. How much have you gained? Three pounds just this month. Do you know why? I think it's the ice cream. You've started eating ice cream. It was on sale. How much did you buy? I filled up my freezer with ice cream. <laughs> well, it won't last forever. No, I figure I'll finish it all by next week. Then you can start losing weight, if there isn't another sale. Lesson 11, a new diet. I'm on a new diet. What are you eating now? I switch from pasta to potatoes. Why did you do that? Pasta is processed food. Potatoes are natural food. Natural food has more vitamins. And it's just as easy to prepare. How do you prepare the potatoes? I wash them and then steam them for 15 minutes. That's pretty simple. Then I add butter, salt, and pepper. Can I have all those cans of tomato sauce you bought for your pasta?